Okay, I'm back. Now I've been I've cooked the tofu a bit and I'm gonna let it keep simmering so it cooks real nicely. This tofu is now it's gonna be more of a soft tofu. Uh, if I baked it, it would have gotten more crispy. So it'll be more of a soft tofu, which is fine with me. And now I am going to cook some, get some onions going. I need to add a little bit more oil. And so, these are just uh, white onions, uh, sorry, uh, brown onions. And so I'm going to let the tofu keep going. And next on the agenda is the eggplant. So I have strained the eggplant. And you can look at how beautiful that eggplant is now. And I've strained it. And because the eggplant needs to cook for a while, sorry, I need to drain the last bits of water out of that eggplant. Because I'm going to add it to the onions, and I don't really want much water in there. And let me grab that bit of eggplant. Okay, so now, oh, it smells good in here. Let me open the window a bit. And so now I've got the eggplant. Can you hear me? I've got the eggplant and onion. I'm on a high heat. I've got the eggplant, whoops, I've got the eggplant and onion, and you know something you could put in this that would be just fine, and I will do, is uh, some walnuts. I'm going to add some walnuts to the tofu, that'll be lovely, in place of any flesh. Nuts are called nut meats for a reason. They're super high in nutrients the way meat, flesh foods are. It's the flesh of the, of the fruit, of that fruit. So, hence the term nut meats. And when I was a kid, they called them brain food, the way they called fish brain food. But anyway, nuts are very high in protein and fat. So now I've got the eggplant going. And if anybody wants to buy me a house with a commercial kitchen in it, and a state-of-the-art video deal, that'll be fine. Um, I think I have enough, yeah, okay. This stove, I can get enough heat. Because this eggplant, uh, eggplant in a wok tolerates really high heat. And um, these onions will be fairly well cooked for Chinese style. Usually they like the onions more crisp. And I'm gonna keep my eye on the tofu. You see how the tofu is kind of getting coagulated, for want of a better word, and that brown color comes from the marinade. And what's next? What's next is um, I want to think about what I'm going to put in the... Uh, I'm going to add the mushrooms to the pig plant. The uh, root vegetables, I might have to cook by them separately. I'm not sure. I have to think about that because they just have a different... I don't want any, any water with them. So, um, but actually the, the, the lotus I'm adding to the tofu because that will take some of the water from the tofu and be happy about it. But the carrot and the burdock root, I want to be crispy. So, I've added the mushroom to the eggplant. So we have onion, eggplant, and mushroom, the meitake mushroom. And when I put the camera down, I'll add some ginger to that, even though there's already, I hope you can hear me, even though there's already ginger in the marinade, I will add some ginger to that. And the reason why I added the mushroom with the eggplant is the mushroom, I like to cook those really well because I don't know where they've been. And they need to be cooked. So I'm going to lower the flame. I have had this wok, this wok here, I bought in 1980. 
so what is that, 40 years ago? Because woks are like cast iron pans. They develop a carbon, whoops, I just lost one. They develop a carbon at the bottom at the surface that makes it really easy to use. And you don't have to go out and buy new pots and pans. Your pots and pans will live long, far longer than you will. Don't forget, there's pots and pans from ancient times in the museum. Okay. Which is interesting because... Let me not go on a tangent. Sorry, I was going to go on a tangent about bones and uh, metal. And I won't. And minerals. Okay, so the tofu is cooking nicely. The lotus root is cooking with it quite well. And um, I don't mind my lotus root a little on the crunchy side, actually. But I, I, I am incapable of eating eggplant that's undercooked. So I will cook the eggplant until it's nice and soft. One of the advantages of having soaked it with salt water is that the eggplant cooks faster. And the Japanese eggplant, it, it, I also like it because it cooks fast. It cooks faster than the Chinese or American. Don't, don't ask me why. You can ask, I can't tell you. All right, and I decided not to add any, any garlic because I really liked the flavor of the marinade. I tasted some of the tofu and the marinade was just fine. Okay, now, Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be sneaky, and I am going to add the tofu and the mushrooms and lotus. I have to put the camera down. I'll be back. I had to, because I want to. I want to cook the um, root vegetables by themselves in the smaller wok. And I'll keep the mung bean sprouts handy so I don't forget about them. And I am going to add some white pepper at, towards the end. White pepper, I prefer white pepper generally speaking with Chinese dishes like this because it's a little more delicate and it's and it's at the same time slightly hotter Okay So here's How it's starting to look kind of like mabo tofu This is the kind of uh, dish that will go great with a green vegetable cooked separately and Now the root vegetables a little bit more yet some more oil Chinese food can be a little on the oily side, but don't forget, they eat small, what we're cooking, what I'm cooking here, they eat a small amount of that with a lot of rice. So, I, unfortunately, some of the tofu stuck. So, I'll be back. This is going to turn off now, and I shall return when this is done. 